What is up, guys? My talk here coming at you guys with another Ruby. The command zone video. subscribe to me. I like them. <laughs> You're literally in the middle, bro. Really? Really? In the middle of um, my introduction. This is we're my, 30 minutes in. We're not re-recording. So let's let's just talk about those predictions now. All right, guys. So Team Sun, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. Like, it's not a secret, but only Sun and Neptune. They're pretty much like the most important characters of Team Sun. So far, right now. Yeah, here's so my far. prediction. What's your prediction? Give me a second. Give you a second to think of your prediction Got it. on the Prediction! Spot. Team Sun's other members, you know the ones. Scarlet and Sage? Yeah! They're really gonna pull through this next chapter. They're going to be... Next, next volume. Obviously, <laughs> they're really going to be like the centerpiece of the whole volume. No, they're not. Shut the well, fuck up. Let me up. tell you, you why. Know, you know that well, though. No, they're not. Listen, look, listen. We gave the whole season for Team Ruby. Team Ruby. And from now on, my prediction is that every single volume is going to revolve around one team. The That's next one is Sun. Obviously. You can take that to a bank, but don't. I'm broke. I don't think that's... Well... If they... Look, look. If right. anything... You know how we got Ren's flashback? Mm -hmm. Um, Just volume four? Mm -hmm. No one thought we're, we were gonna get. Yeah. Nobody thought we were gonna get fucking flashback yeah. about Ren of that, all people. Ren of all people. We but have look. to predict the unpredictable. No, but look, right now it just Be seems. Ready like, it, it seems like we're getting flashbacks depending on like the location that we're heading, right? All right. It just happens that they were passing by Ren's old village, so yeah. of course, so like they just like okay, we're getting a flashback New prediction. Of, of Ren. But look, look. New prediction. What? Sun and Neptune are gonna fuse. Guitar rings. Okay, you crazy. Look, look, let me get back to what I was going to say. New prediction. No, look, look. Because they're free, and I can throw as many as I want. What I actually think is going to happen is, in Volume 5, because we're we're in Mistral, yeah. and we know Team Sun, you know, they're teams from Mistral. Here's the thing, though. Sun is the only one who's not from Mistral, like, originally. That Obviously. we know at the point. That we know right now, so far. Yeah. Sun's straight up from Bakio. Like, that's his childhood. So, if we ever go to Bakio, that's where I, I think we might be getting... The like true full, full on like sun backstory. You get me? Yeah. Right now we might get little glimpses of it, like him barely showing up to Mistro, and then that's where he meets Neptune and everybody else. So I think we're gonna get a flashback of of how they met. Okay. In uh, Volume Five, possibly. Yeah. If they think it's. <laughs> so what we know. What we know. Is Sun's the only one who's not straight up? He did not originate from Mistral so far that we know, huh? Yeah. From like all of Team Sun. Yeah. Neptune, kind Scarlet, of the Sage. Outsider. Yeah, he's the outsider. He's the cool one who rolled into town. <laughs> You're right. So he but, can take Blake's hand. Actually, no, yeah. fuck that. Blake's mom's hand. Blake's mom's hand. He's getting a Bella Donna. That's all we know about that. But look, I don't think we're gonna get a full on flashback until. We actually head to Vacuo at some point in the series. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Right now in Mistral? Great. I'm gonna fight you on it. What? Unless, Unless something happens. Where Sun's where, like near death or something? Yes, yes. Yeah. Near death with Okay, Blake. okay. And he's like, I remember my childhood. I remember my childhood. And then he's in Mexico. No, that's beat by that's, his grandpa. Fuck. That's death flags. Like right me. There. That's like the that's straight up the recipe for for your cactus dying though. That's death flags all over. Where a cactus no near death, and then Ruby. it's like, oh, I'm about to remember. No one's ever died in Ruby. No. Fucking Pira, fucking Penny, fucking Roman Torchwing. Look, 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 let's go through. Look, no, I'm not, not, I'm not about to. Penny's, no, Penny is a robot. She can be brought back. Oscar, Oscar Penny 2.0. Back. I wouldn't even be mad about. Heroes in the upside down. She's good. Oh. Is good. Don't worry about it. She's coming back strong. Volume five. You have my word on that. At this point, I, I'm, I'm no just, one dies. At this point, I'm just numb to to your your Look, your way of thinking. All plus right, fear. we 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 have to give you a theory on. No, this. no, I already have a, a theory involving Pira that I'm gonna make later, but it's not it's not about her living, her being alive right now currently. It's just more the aftermath after she dies. What's going on with that? Obviously. I already said it. She, I've said her it before. Soul her soul is in the sword of John. I'm Obviously. No, All no, he's no. gotta do to set her free is... We're a time for son! Raise his, his, raise no, his no. sword in the sky and your Bunkai! Ugh, and God she's gonna come out. Fucking Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's just, what are you talking that's about? That's just badass, though. The word Bankai is just so empowering. Like, right? Bam! Like, say it with me you now. Can say, you can Bankai. say Bankai. Bankai. You, you can just be like, Bankai. like, fucking have an umbrella. You're opening it. Bankai! 
Batista. We're talking about Batista. Now Batista's come back. Let, no way. Let's, oh, move, let's move on with this. Yes, yeah, all right. But we'll, we'll make a whole separate video. On you this need to calm down. Now. Fucking um, team son. Like you just said, we won't get a son uh, backstory. Like unless he's near death. And some reason during volume five, huh? Yeah. Unless he's near death, we were, we won't see a flashback of his childhood. Kind of like similar to Nora. We got a flashback, but we don't we don't have her whole story. You get me? I feel in volume five we are gonna get a flashback of of son, but it's only. Till like he literally just barely got to Mistral. Like we're not gonna get uh, okay. much information of him being in vacuo like how it was for him. You get me? Yeah. Like it's just gonna be like, oh, like I don't know. We don't even know at what age he showed up in Mistral. Like we don't know if he was a little kid or he literally just oh I'm, like on some Ruby shit. Like, uh, no, I'm 15 no, 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 and no. I barely I, showed up. I feel like the bomb he was a little he kid. Neptune. You think he was a little stronger. kid? I don't. Mm, fuck. How, adolescent? How? Adolescent? Is that fair? Like 12? You say? Like 12 ish. Yeah, I could say 12. -ish. Okay. I, I think so. I, I feel like his, his childhood was hard because he never talked about his parents. Yeah. Like, I feel like maybe he was abandoned. Who knows? We'll figure this shit out. You know, as his peers come back. If that's true, then, that, like, he grew up really fucking, yeah. like, he turned out to be a great fucking person. Like, depending on all the circumstances that, like, were fucking with him, then, if that's true. Because, look, yeah. he still trusts people. Like, if he got abandonment issues and, like, all this fucked up shit, that would, like, make somebody. Like, like booty's too fine not to trust. <laughs> you know in the fandom they, they call it the what is it? Belladonna booty or something? They they just like call it Blake Blake's booty like that. Huh? No, I don't, because I don't. Or the Bella Booty. I think they call it Bella Booty. <laughs> Off topic. <laughs> like I said, the prediction for volume five is we're gonna get a, a Team Sun flashback. It could be just Sun and how he met Neptune. But you could also throw in Sage and Scarlet in there when they're like barely met at Haven. Yeah. Maybe not even Haven, like maybe even the Junior uh, Academy before Haven. Yeah. Because remember how like almost everybody else had to attend a different um, academy. Like freaking um, Yang and Ruby, they attended Signal before they attended uh, Beacon. Yeah. Yeah, so like I don't know what the freaking Junior Academy would be for, for Haven though in this joke. But yeah, whatever, like, the main thing that, that Team Sun, I say their, their role is gonna be, Sun's not obviously, like, he's with Blake, huh? It's gonna be the, the other freaking portion, the freaking Neptune, Sage, and Scarlet portion of Team Sun. They're gonna be the ones who, they're gonna be Team Ranger, and for the, they're gonna have to show them the ropes of, like, Mistral, basically. You okay, me? yeah. Like, they're gonna be like, well, we've lived here, like, just how you were kind of showing us the ropes in, or at least for Neptune, kind of like Neptune's son. Yeah. You, how you guys were showing us like around Vale, we're gonna have to show you guys around this show, huh? Because you guys don't know. Ah. Uh, around. Yeah. Yeah, you guys I can don't see know that. But, but like, I feel like we're, we're focusing on something that would be like so subpar to the plot. So subpar? Like, yeah. Like it does. It, in, in well, the like scheme, I feel like the, they're gonna, gonna have them. Like, yeah. do you think Crow's just literally gonna be like, well, I've I've already been to yeah. this show, so I know everything. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Here's the thing. They might get separated from each other. Well, yeah, freaking crow at the end of all. Yeah, the it's all right. Four was. Let's take this to another show, One Piece. One Piece. Who is like that? Who is like crow? Who's seen the whole world? Freaking Rayleigh. And he's a fish guy. You think Jimbei? Jimbei? Yes, he knows the whole new world. Okay. So he'd be like crow. Like him joining the Straw Hats would give him such an advantage. It would kind of defeat some of the purposes of the plot, which I'm okay with because it's gonna speed up the plot. Yeah. But do you think Ruby's they'll, gonna they'll do take that? away from the from the surprise? But yeah, of, the surprise. Of, of yeah, things. like because they oh, can yeah, do Oh yeah, that the island, the rocks are monsters. The rocks like, are monsters. No, the that's island, not how Ruby everyone is. Everyone who has debt is actually. It would be more rich. like oh, in Mistral, there's there's a tendency to have different types of grim or something, like out in the okay. in the mountains instead of like. I can the see that because this last season we got so many different grims, but uh, honestly. Season one, I honestly thought most of the Grims were just like that everywhere. Birds Which, and birds yeah, and uh, freaking we're birds and wolves. wolves. Here's the thing, it makes sense. Different environment, different Grims. Like you know, different yeah. environment, different animals. You know, they, I, honestly, I want to see like a centipede Grim. Like that'd be awesome. Like if they were in the forest and it was just like a bunch of insect Grims. Like I think the art on that would be amazing. I think that um, you're right about there being different types of Grims, like all yeah. all throughout the different um, freaking kingdoms and uh -huh. stuff. And but like I'm trying to I'm trying to tie that into um, Team Sun. Yeah. Like especially Neptune, cause Neptune's the most important member of Team Sun that's in Mistral. Okay. That's in Mistral, yeah. cause Sun's over there with Blake, so he's kind of. Yeah, we know so of... far because we don't know anything about Scarlet right now. She might just like. <laughs> Who she, knows? Scarlet's a dude. Obviously. Obviously. I was quizzing you and you passed barely. 
wait till the but next look, look. one. Remember how um, Neb Neptune's afraid of water? Yeah. Neptune's afraid of water, and I get, I may, I like guess that it's probably because he saw a water grim, similar to how like Wrong. Blake and yeah, Close. no, water I say it's a water grim. Killed I'm not, his daddy. I'm not saying it has to be a dragon. Killed his daddy. Okay. Water it could be like that. It was daddy. a kraken grim or something though. Like that. a Nickelodeon. Like he saw a very strange, not common thing in the water, and that fixed like up. Like I would tell you. I, I think we should just call them mythical grams, basically. The mythical gram. Mythical gram, like where it's like. I Good think it's like, mythical. <laughs> copyright. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, good, good mythical Morty just takes us down. Ready yeah. to leak. They fuck you guys. How dare you? How you dare you say my name? <laughs> Man, I love but those look, guys. I'm trying to tie this in because I'm saying there's so many different things we could get. I, I all I'm saying is I'm pretty sure we're gonna get something from Team Sun. Whether it be Sun's flashback, how he meets them, how he met them when they were all younger. Yeah. It could be ne fucking ne uh, flashback about Neptune because Neptune's the most important person in Mistral right now, and it, and we might get a flashback like why he's scared of water. I feel like we might get that. And, and somehow it might tie into what's what the hell is actually going on in Mistral. I can see that. And also Team Sun, they're gonna be the ones to possibly introduce Team Ranger and Crow to Crow. He, I think, I think it's safe to say Crow already knows the the headmaster, right? Yeah. But Team Ranger, they don't know what the hell the dude looks like. So I think Team Sun, they're just gonna be like, oh look, let me introduce you, let me introduce you guys to the headmaster. I can see and that. Like, that's yeah. how they they meet up with. Yeah. Um, Lionheart, huh? Yeah, which Lionheart? Oh my god, I I hope he's going to like he's doing this as like a two face thing. Who's going he's... to betray them or something? I think I, he's, I, I, I think he's just a fucking pussy and like yeah, he, he's yeah. he's just like under them like right now most people are just saying um Lionheart he's just falling a lot in line with them. Just because like Salem or whatever promised him safety. Yeah, which for his, you know it's not gonna happen. You know that shit's not gonna happen. Yeah. Like they already have the White Fang moving. It means <laughs> in order to That's fucking true. take out, yeah. yeah, to fuck out, fuck over fucking Haven. Yeah. So like he's just an idiot right now. But um, for Volume Five, I also hope that we don't go back to the school setting, like how we've been in Volumes One through Three, mm -hmm. because they have they right now. Ruby could try yeah. to go back to that school setting. Here's the, the thing: they're with, gonna go back with, to um, Haven Academy. I, 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 they're gonna go back to it, but they're not gonna go back to it since they're gonna be go back to it as like. You know, like, oh my god, that's Ruby. Oh my god, that's John. Oh my god, that's John Sword that's gonna bring Kira back to life. Oh my no, god. No, no. Anyways, they're gonna go. Where's in. your thought process going? What are you like, talking about? What are you talking what, about? What, 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 what no, they're, I'm they're, saying they're I hope they don't go school? back. I hope they don't take the the plot and go back to the school. And enroll in classes? No, not no. I'm not saying enroll in classes. I'm just saying like a lot of time being wasted on Volume Five, where yeah. like say what would um, like they're gonna meet new students and they're gonna yes, train them a little. Yes, like they're gonna. No, no, no. I don't think that. I don't think that. Like they're gonna train them no i think it's like especially like how we're trying to say team sun they're probably gonna get really involved yeah. this this volume right uh, i'm saying is i don't want them to waste so much time and say because team sun they're ha they have an academy yeah team ranger they don't have an academy but i'm saying is team sun like wait, 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 what do you mean like we waste academy? they, their academy's fucking good how Freaking dare beacon, you beacon they're beacon bringing it back right well yeah they're bringing it back but right now there's no classes that's what I'm yeah. trying to say. Haven is still running, huh? Yeah. And I'm, what I'm trying to say is, we might there might be scenes where we just waste a lot of time on Team Sun, where they're just like doing their everyday freaking school school stuff. You get me? I feel. Like I don't we, want that. I to feel have. like we might get a glimpse of it. We fine. A but, glimpse is okay, but yeah, not. Don't like. I I really doubt it, and I really hope we're not yeah. going to do that either. Cause like fuck, man, a year for Ruby. Let, let me just. <laughs> But yeah, but look, look, this is, where I'm, this is also where I'm trying to get. I just hope we don't go back to the school setting. Like, I'd rather Volume 5 be spent more on, like, everyone's guessing, you know, Team Ruby's gonna get back together by, like, the end of Volume 5 at least. Where, like, Yang, Blake, Weiss, and uh, Ruby, they're all, they're all in the same place. Maybe they might not be cool with each other okay. by the end of the volume. They yeah. might not be cool with each other, but they're all in the same place, like reunion, Team Ruby reunion. But what I'm saying is, like, mostly Volume Five. I want, like, at least from the Team Ranger side and Crow, I want them to explore Minstrel. Like, I want them to go around, and see the place, meet new people. It, it's still the same thing. I just don't want them to hang around the academy the whole time. You get me? Like, it's just, yeah. we just mostly see the academy. Well, here's the thing. Lionheart is gonna be a big, big thing about the next volume. And he, he, he is in the academy. When do you yeah. not see the teachers not in the academy? So I feel like we're, we're going to spend a, a quite, quite, you know, it sucks. Yeah. But, but you, you want to see more of the scenery of the place. Well, if they're going to the if town, they're gonna like, hang around the academy, then I hope we at least get to see some of the 
Haven Academy teachers See, and like a that? few students. No. Well, Here's that's not that's not realistic. Like you just see the headmaster well, yeah. and you don't see any teachers. Yeah, we'll see around. some. We'll, we'll, yeah, most likely. But here's the it can't be that we that. just see Team Sun though. I doubt that. Like you know, there there has to be some new players getting in the game. You know. Yeah. Getting thrown in the game because that's just what happens in life. You know, you go somewhere that you see more people, huh? You don't just see the people you know from yeah. that place. What? Sometimes you do, and it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but look. Um, I'm gonna give a little hint. I want them to go around Mistral for obvious reasons, so we could see the, you know, the aftermath. What happened to their champion? His death. You know what's going on with that? Cause you know damn well there has to be some Here's way the of thing. them showing. Here's the thing. This I is what's gonna look, happen. I wouldn't even be surprised look, they have a statue they're, they're, of Pyrrha somewhere in Mistral. Obviously, I wouldn't even be surprised. They're gonna have four. And here's the thing. Because you're protecting north, east, south, Look, west. I still have a problem. Why? How do... How, how does everyone know that Pyrrha is dead? I don't think everyone knows that Pyrrha is dead. I hope they don't break the news. Because, like, stone. that doesn't... I hope they don't break the news. So. Here's the thing. I, 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 it's going to happen. If they break the news, so, here's the thing. Family's going to be chill as fuck. Be like, oh, They're yeah. gonna be chill? No, no problem. Guess what? My fucking ability. I already know my daughter my is, is in another dimension. See, first off, her sister over here, her twin sister, <laughs> her twin ha sister. Had, had this uh, semblance that's called Soul Bond. And so, like, she would die if Hero was really dead. So, you good. And he here's the thing. Fuck it. <laughs> The, the, the mother has Why don't you just become a fan fiction writer? At this How point? dare you? <laughs> no, you're crazy. Look. Here's the thing. If that doesn't happen, I got another theory. I'm if trying to be realistic about to this. My theory actually her, has her to do with like her family, like, like, what's her going her on with that. Like huh? Phoenix. Like that red hair, fire, red, Pira. Reborn. Ashes. Like a phoenix. On some Jean Grey shit? Sure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, no. so now, well, go for it. I guess I gotta summarize what we just talked about, huh? No, we good. They I get gotta, it, right? I gotta summarize what we just talked about. Yeah, they good. Team Sun's involvement is gonna be like, yo, they're gonna be act they're gonna be taking on the same role that Team Ruby took for Sun and Neptune mainly, yeah. because th those are the ones that we actually got to know more in Volume Two. Yeah. Sage and Scarlet were basically almost nowhere to be found. And <laughs> Scarlet is a guy. Scarlet is a guy, he's a pirate dude. Who, if you guys didn't know. Who's very fashionable and um yeah. Obviously. <laughs> he's very fashionable and very flamboyant. Look, let's also talk about individually the members of Teen Sun. Obviously. Sun, my boy even. Sun is godsend. He's godsend. He's he's great. He's a great guy. Fucking out here, reliable, trustworthy. Trying to get milk. Loyal! Loyal to a fault for Blake though. Honestly, and Blake's mom, and Blake, and Blake's mom. That's that's he's, how he's, the show goes. He's trying, he's trying to be cool with the fam. That's his job. All right, now Neptune, Neptune, he's cool. You know, he's pretty decent. You know, like loves he's, the wrong he's pretty, person. Loves the wrong person. He's that's why he's garbage character. He's flirtatious. Like his yeah. eyes wander. That's the, his thing, though. He's not, he's not as loyal, but he could get there. He could get there. He has the makings of an interesting backstory, you know. I, I'm I'm actually genuinely interested in why yeah, he's he scared looks of water. Cool, blue hair. No, but I, like I just said, I'm genuinely interested in why he's afraid of water. I've already said it before in like like over two almost two years ago, where I talked about oh I I try to call it like oh it's because of there's underwater grim, you know? And like something happened to him, he maybe lived in a outskirts village, kinda like patch or something, like outside the kingdom. And how you just mentioned a while ago, no, maybe his daddy eaten. got eaten yeah, by like an yeah. underwater grim. But he's I rich. He's rich, you think? Yeah, let me tell you why. Why? He's so, because he's got First all off, that. First off, he wasn't. He has all that swag. All that swag. All that swag. All that swag. And how he, he reacted with Weiss. Like, he didn't care that, that she was rich. That is kind of a good point. Like, he never even uh, acknowledged, like, Oh, your wife's knee? Like oh, from you the person. Money. Yeah, the person. What up? You know, you're you're freaking heir to the family. Yeah. The the, the schnee does. Yeah. Come he's like, yeah, and... another one. I don't care. Yeah, that, that's pretty true. But look, he's also he's also smart. Like we already know he's smart because like most people they have to make their weapons, right? Yeah. And like I think creating a fucking what 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 fucking it's like a lightning gun, but that's also a fucking it also turns into your your fucking trident lightning spear. That seems a little 
more complicated than some of the weapons we've seen. Like, yeah, like you, you, Yang, you had help Yang's just like seen... shotgun fucking. No, well, I don't know if it's the same for in their school like how it is for Signal. Because remember how Ruby even said, oh, if in Signal, everyone has to make their own weapons. You know? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I can Yang's is simple as fuck. Like, you know, it's just shotgun Blades. fucking. Uh... Yeah. And the show should not be about that. This should be nunchucks that are also like <laughs> fucking shotguns. Staffs and shotguns. And Fuck, fucking I, lo I love Suns. Ch uh, fucking nunchucks. Yeah. These nunchuck shotguns and shit. But like, here's the thing. That's just hard to animate. Like, oh yeah, no. And I, like, I, 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 I want this. You know, I was studying right now. Like, we like, haven't seen that shit in a while. And I think I, I want I the most seen... convoluted weapon you can give me. The I want someone using a fucking toaster. A toaster. A toaster. That opens up. And it just like fucking grills people. Like it, it becomes like, <laughs> like you know, like kind of like a bow staff, but like on the sides it's just like two giant hot and ready fucking like hot and ready, like, just like smacking it, it, people and, and like it imprints their face. the it imprints yeah, like the, the word hot and ready. <laughs> <laughs> Little Caesar, you know, five skin. for one. The, I like that. That shit's fucked up. Give me that, my well, no, by convoluted, by convoluted. I thought you meant like oh, like say it, someone has like a little box. And the box can turn into almost anything. See, like, yeah. it, can, it, can, it keeps I, morphing. I want it to be impractical. Impractical. Convoluted. Like, like, I want it to be, like, everyday household items. Like a toaster, like a fridge. Like, give me, like, some dude carrying a giant fridge on his back that's, like, a blizzard gun. And he, he, he fucking morphs it and becomes, like, a vehicle. But he can't use a vehicle all the time because it'll overheat and it'll melt his ice cream in his freezer. That's right. Oh I want God. it that convoluted. I don't get another show like this. Yeah. I need this. It has to be a gun in some way, though. Obviously! Like, everybody's weapon has to be a gun, except Jaws. Jaws is, like, the only one who... His is, like, a holy weapon that's gonna come out with, like, fucking Hira one day. Like, Hira... He, he did not make his weapon. It was passed down. Yeah, it was passed yeah. down. So... But he already fucked with it! Here's By... the thing, he didn't fuck with it! Yeah, he... Bu he... he added more blink to he it! Had... <laughs> he had the blacksmith blink, fucking blink, modify it. Day. Now, the blacksmith modified it now. Like, that shit's not the same no more. You think his family would get mad? I don't think his family's gonna get mad, especially because they got that fucking, uh, they, <laughs> that Nico, they got that Nico's gold on it. Yeah. It's like, oh, You're right. great job. Huh? Great, great job, job son. You got some How'd gold you get it, it, though? And then they're like, I looted my, my, my past best friends and possibly love his dead body. And it's like, Good job! Good you job! Got some gold. You good, good job! You you knew the stark way, huh? That's the, that's, <laughs> you say stark? No, the stark? How dare you? That's the arc You're way. You're fired! You're done! Get out this YouTube channel! That's the arc way, huh? Yeah. Well, well, let me say something. How do we get so deviated for two sons, though? We're talking about convoluted weapons. Like, I, I weapons. want another weapon that's like a hula hoop. I didn't even get a, Give me a hula hoop. I didn't even get to go on to Scarlet or Sage though. When let's talk about Scarlet and Sage right now. All right, let's talk about Scarlet and Sage. Who's gonna get the hula hoop ring? YouTube.com forward slash score six seven. Um, the best Legit. YouTube channel in the YouTube game. PewDiePie is subscribed to me. <laughs> um, yeah, H3H3. PewDiePie's only 40 subscribers. H3H3 yeah. subscribe to me. Oh, yeah. H3H3 um, is another one of your 40 subscribers. <laughs> don't forget. Great A under A. <laughs> We also got <laughs> Smosh. They subscribe oh, twice. One for Ian. One for your subscriber base. Hey, look, the Franco says it's the best YouTube channel he's ever seen. Rooster Teeth oh, constantly I subscribing. <laughs> um, after, after subscribers are all famous. Fucking How dare you? Why can't They're anyone all get famous? I tell them not to. I like to keep my click tight. Like Kanye, because they they obviously they Drake they, they love you for your Rayman. Like Drake, <laughs> you don't upload. Drake is subscribed to me. It's on his Vivo account, but he subscribed to me. Um, Lil Dicky subscribed to me. Michael Scott is subscribed to me. I don't know who that is. You disgust me. You don't watch The Office. Childish Gambino subscribed. Stop fucking Sub around. Liberal. This is the Sub third liberal. time we've had to I can't even say subliminal. Listen to me. Sub we are doing predictions <laughs> for volume five, and we have a lot of them already in this sure video. Sure we do. Yes, we do. Now, I predict in volume five of Ruby, we will see Ruby. 
No! Mind blown! I know. What? Ruby? That's unheard of! Yes. I, I don't want to get too cocky and predict this, but I really think we're going to see Yang. Whoa! No way! Dude, I'm telling Whoa. you. And she's going to have a new arm? Yeah. This we have 32. <laughs> this is we have 32 minutes on this. And you still can't do one good take. You're a disgrace. How dare you?